Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you the entire process of creating a commercial video using AI. We will be using three different tools and the best part is that you can use all these tools for free. Now, before we get started, let me at least show you the commercial first so that you'll understand what we're trying to create here. So let's have a look at this 20 second video. When you don't feel like getting up, when you don't feel like facing the world, but you must because that's what champions do. It's what champions have always done. Energize yourself. It's not just a drink, it's fuel. Elevate the fuel of champions. All right, so a bit cliched and a bit cheesy, but the idea here is to show you the process so that you can create something better. So first of all, before we talk about these three tools, let's just quickly have a look at the different steps involved in this entire process. So there are six steps. First will be to just create a script. This is where we are just telling the software, in this case, that's gonna be our first tool, which is ChatGPT AI, about what we wanna create. So it's going to be very simple. The next step is storyboarding. That's where ChatGPT will understand your script and kind of give you a rough sketch, almost like a, a thing that you see in a comic with different frames in it. And if you're happy with that storyboard, you will then start to create the images. Once you are happy with the images, we'll also ask ChatGPT AI to create the motion prompts because this entire process about, is about turning those images into videos. And that's where we go on to step number four. For this, we will be using these motion prompts inside Kling AI to do this. Once we've got all our videos, the only thing that will be left will be to get the music and the voiceover. You can of course do this manually, but I'll be showing you a tool called InVideo AI, which will make this very easy, pretty much a one-click process. Once you have everything with you, we will just be putting everything together in a video editing software for our final edit. So let's get started with these first two steps inside ChatGPT. So the scripting part is pretty easy. You're just basically, first of all, telling ChatGPT what exactly do you want. And for this, I just like to usually use the voice mode since it involves a lot of talking. So you can see that this is a transcript of whatever I conveyed to it. And this was basically what you saw in the commercial that, listen, I want a 20 second promo video. It's about this woman who's feeling very depressed. She's on her bed, but then she sees that drink. She feels energized and then she starts working out and we want to create a motivational video like that. So it kind of gets the idea of, we discuss some more things about some different scenes. And then finally, I'm like, yes, let's good. Uh, it sounds good. Let's uh, do this. And I ask it to draw the storyboard. So this is where we move on to the next step. And a storyboard looks something like this. So in this case, ChatGPT gave me two different ideas for the storyboards. And if you look at the first one, you'll see that this is exactly what we saw in the commercial. So out of these two, I like the frames in this better. Storyboarding is essential before you start creating the images for two reasons. One is you can straight away see what you are gonna get because you start to see the composition of the different shots. Because if you were to directly generate the images first and then there's something that you don't like, it's a wastage of time. The second benefit of using a storyboard is that ultimately when you do like a storyboard and you start to create the images from it, it is going to maintain more consistency when it comes to the character because it gets a context and a reference to generate those images from. So in this case, like I said, I like this storyboard. So now it's time to move to the next step, which was to create the images. So for the next step here, I uploaded that image of the storyboard that I had liked and I just told it, yes, this, these are the images that we want to generate. And also because I knew I want to convert them into videos at the same time, I asked it that not only generate the images, but also give me the motion prompts that I will be using inside Kling AI. And at this point, I also communicated the aspect ratio, which was going to be 16 is to 9, which is a very popular aspect ratio for videos. And then once this was the case, it started doing a pretty good job. So let's have a look at the different images along with the motion prompts. So you can see that it just started to generate a full resolution image from that first frame. And you can see that this was exactly or very close to what we had in the storyboard. It also gave me uh, things like the duration, something like a title for the frame, although all this is not required. The main thing here was that it gave me the motion prompt which will be used inside uh, Kling AI. And it also actually gave me the voiceover, but ultimately I ended up using a different voiceover which I'll show you uh, later on. But this was frame one. Then I said, yes, perfect, now do it for frame two. So this was ready. Uh, later on, I changed the drink. I'm just gonna be showing you that uh, in a while from now. So frame two was done and we started following the similar process. This was frame three 
And finally, we got frame four. The only thing I wanted was uh, this drink itself looked very bland because of the gray color. So I just wanted to change this image as well as this image. So I asked it to just make a reddish kind of a can. And these were the results I got. So I just typed in, this was the frame two. I want you to change the energy drink to something that is red and some other colors. You can choose it on your own. And this was what I liked. And I, even for this one, I did the same thing. And I changed it once more, I think, uh, just to get it exactly like this. So finally, we had all our frames together. I just wanted one more frame for this, uh, which was of her running outdoors, because till now every scene looked very dark. So it would have been a good contrast. So I just typed in, I also want you to create a fifth frame where this woman is running outdoors against, uh, again, the same 16 is to uh, 9 aspect ratio. And it gave me this particular image. And the problem with this was straight away, it this was the only image where it looked a bit AI, okay? And before I talk about that, can you see that throughout this time, in all the frames that we've generated and turned into images, the character consistency has been pretty great. The only downside here was it looked a bit AI. And the problem is if your image looks AI, remember we're gonna be turning this from image to a video in Kling, there's a good chance that then even the video will look very AI-ish. So what I did in this particular case was since this was the only one that had that AI look, I actually went over first of all to a website called imageprompt.org where you can get a prompt from an image. So I uploaded this very image and it gave me this long prompt. Then I went to ideogram.ai and there on a free account, you will at least be able to generate a few images. I typed and copied this exact same prompt so we can get an image which is as close to that particular image from chat GPT because ideogram is perhaps the best when it comes to creating realistic looking shots. But here the character consistency was also important. So I didn't want to do it for all the frames, just for this particular frame. So I started getting shots like this. And if I just open one of the shots, I really like this because in this, the face was very close. Then what I did was I took this particular image and I went over to Remaker Face Swapper. And then I basically swapped the faces from this image with this image. And finally, this was the image that I got. And this looked much more real and would have, as you're gonna see, it, it's gonna result in a much better looking video. In fact, I'll be showing you both the videos inside Kling and you'll see that this one looks much better. The next step involved going to Kling AI. Once you create your free account with Kling, you get around 160 credits. Each five second video, uh, turning this image into video will cost you around uh, 20 credits. You will have to use what we call as the standard mode and you'll have to use the Kling 1.6 model, but that's fine. You will be able to do this for free. Once you do see this interface, just go to video generation, then go to image to video frames. And basically you're gonna upload the image here and you're gonna uh, paste that motion prompt that we got from chat GPT right here and then hit generate because I'm on the paid plan. I can use the professional mode, which slightly gives out better videos. Uh, it costs 35 credits, but you can see that this is a fairly straightforward process. So this was our first frame and this, you can see the prompt here also. And if I just run the video, this is what we got. So this looked pretty good for a five second video. Let's see the second frame. This was the second frame, same thing, same process you can see. Really like that movement, looked very real till now, didn't have that AI look at all. Let's see it for the third frame. This was perhaps my favorite. I really love the realism in this and the whole uh, cinematic look to this and the slow motion, it was just absolutely amazing. Chat GPT does a really good job at giving you out those motion prompts because I didn't even describe what exactly the motion has to be. It just understands looking at the frame and then Kling AI just goes very well along with that. Let's look at the fourth frame. This was the fourth frame. I think this also looked very good along with that tagline, energize your life. And here, what I did intend was that the music will stop like you saw in the promo video. And I just wanted this drinking sound to come. So here, what you can do inside Kling is that once you have a video, you can just hit this option that says AI sound. It's automatically gonna analyze that video and it'll give you this. So you can see a satisfying sip is heard following by a a subtle sigh of contentment, this was good. And it's gonna cost you 10 credits, but you can generate it and then you can get it along with the sound. So if you just have a look at this, you can see you get different variations. This was the one I ended up choosing. So we had done this and now let me just show you that outdoor running clip because here I did a lot of experiments. So my first experiment was that I was using that initial 
image that we generated inside ChatGPT, and I told you that because the image looked AI, there's a good chance that the video will look AI also. So right now it seems okay, but when you see this like this, you can clearly see that whole AI look. So the motion was great. I really loved the motion, but then it just looked uh, more like a cartoon character. Then I thought maybe if I change over to uh, Cling 2, okay? So you can do that you know, when you are generating your videos, right on top, you can select Cling 2 Master because this is the latest model, but it does cost you 100 uh, credits. And this kind of gave me a different look. It gave me a running motion, but it couldn't save me from that AI-ish look. So again, if I just run this, you can see that it still has that AI look. So this was the time I actually did that whole ideogram thing and I got the new image. Let's see that one here. So again, the same motion prompt. The only thing was I changed the image to the ideogram one and I think, and for this also, by the way, I used the Cling 2 master and because it just works better than the 1.6 when it comes to complex motion like this. And if we just see the result, even this, to be frank, still has the bit of an AI look, but overall, I just felt that this looked much better than the first two variations, so I decided to choose this. Definitely in the future, when ChatGPT gets better at creating even more realistic images, we will start to even get better looking videos. But right now, let's move on to the next part in this process. The next part involved using an amazing software called as InVideo AI, which is primarily a tool where you can create videos using prompts. But our idea of using this tool is basically to get the sound and the voiceover from that video, not the visuals from that video because we have already created the visuals. Once you create your account with InVideo AI, you can pretty much use this app for free without any restrictions provided that you're not using their generative AI media. That means the good looking visuals, but that's not a problem for us because we are not anywhere here for the visuals, right? So we can actually do this for free. So once you see this interface after logging in, just go to create AI video. One very important thing here, do not choose the latest version, which is version three as of now. Choose two because you will need to edit this video a lot. You will need to edit the script a lot sometimes. And it's very tough to do that in three. Three will give you better visuals, but remember, we are not here for the visuals. We are just here for the voiceover and the music. So select two, and the next job is to just write the script for the voiceover. So what I did was just went over to a notepad and I just typed something like a script when you don't feel like getting up and all this thing, these things that you uh, heard me, heard in the video, uh, uh, the narrator speaking. So I basically then you can just copy this here, just paste it here and that's it, you can just type in, you really don't have to type anything and you can just hit generate video and let me show you the kind of video this will generate. So this was the video that I got after around two or three tries. So sometimes it can involve a bit of trial and error, but let's just play this video. When you don't feel like getting up, when you don't feel like facing the world, but you must, because that's what champions. So it was exactly the same thing. And you can see it's just using its own stock images that is not relevant to us. But oftentimes what is gonna happen here, and this is why you choose version two is, you will often have to hit this edit button and then either edit the music. So you can change the music also that you want. You can even change its properties like when does it start to fade in? When does it phase, fade out? What should be the duration? And when you play the whole track, if you like a particular part, you can select start track from that particular part. So I actually started that music that you heard from one minute and 40 seconds because that's the part I found uh, to be really nice. You can also edit the script here. So this is the script that you wrote here and you can see that every time you can tell it to take a pause. So anytime you need a pause, you need to just mention this letter that says pause, but you can edit this anytime that you want. You can make a video longer or shorter. The longer the script is, obviously the longer the uh, video is. Just remember these things here. And then you can just hit apply changes and it's gonna give you a video. So I'm gonna hit discard changes. Once you're happy with that video, you can just hit download. And then we are gonna move on to the last step, which is putting this all together inside an editing software. So for the final step, when it comes to putting everything together, you can pretty much use any video editing software. One of my recommendations, if you wanna use a free one, will be InShot. It's a very, very brilliant mobile app where you can do this seamlessly. I'm using Premiere Pro because that's what I usually use. So inside Premiere Pro, what I've just done is I've imported the different clips here. You can see on the V1 part here, track here, these are the clips that we got from Kling AI. <laughs> Let's just mute this right now.
and the audio that you see under the A2 track here, this is basically the, I just extracted only the audio from what we got at in video AI. So if I just run this, you can hear this. But you must, because that's what champions do. And I wanted it to end here. And this last audio that you see inside A1, remember this, we had generated the audio inside uh, Kling. This was that sipping sound. Champions. And that's it. Then you just export this video. So for one final time, let's just run this again. When you don't feel like getting up, when you don't feel like facing the world, but you must, because that's what champions do. It's what champions have always done. Energize yourself. It's not just a drink, it's fuel. Elevate the fuel of champions. Before I end this video, just want to say that one thing that I'm experimenting with uh, to do to achieve something similar is using Sora AI, which is again by OpenAI. And here, once you do upload your image, you have the option of actually creating the entire storyboard right from here. For example, this was our first frame. And then I can just hit this option that says storyboard. And here you can actually do all that we did right on this timeline. That means you can keep adding stuff like that, new frames, keep describing the motion prompts right here. The only issue with Sora and why I didn't pursue this right now is because the image quality is right now not very good. You can see this particular video. When it comes to motion, it just isn't intelligent enough to produce an output that looks real. It just produces a lot of weird looking movements. And right now, I don't think Sora is capable of handling complex videos like this one. But if you want to follow along all these different experiments with the different AI image and video editing tools out there, then make sure you subscribe. And in case this video helped you out, do give it a like and I will see you next time.